Any tubes. Which one do I want to work on today? The uh, Hun over there is fine. Used it last night to mow my own lawn, and hopefully I'll sell it. Uh, it's just too heavy for me. Um, this Toro's got it. It runs. It runs okay, but I. It has. It, it started just barfing. Well, it sounding like it was running on choke. Although the air filter looked fine and the choke wasn't closed. Oh, I don't know. But now it's running fine again. So, uh, I hate intermittent problems. Got a, uh, this Honda Super, I mean, this Toro Super Recycler. It's 1995. Got a bag and mulch plug. Do I want to work with this one? Yeah, it needs too much work. Let me go work on the snapper. The one that I just put a new, I know it runs. I mean, I know it will it'll turn over, so. Let's go work on this Left off with this. This mower is, I had just put in a new pull cord because it was broken. And I had uh, looked at the air filter. It was, it was kind of dirty. So I just put a used one in and threw the other one out. And I uh, took the spark plug out and sprayed some carbon cleaner in there. And I uh, pulled the cord and it started for a few seconds. So we know we have spark. We know we have enough compression to get it to fire. So, uh, as God knows how long this was sitting, so it's time to take the carburetor out and take a look. Okay, what we got here now is a, a Briggs Quantum Style 6 horsepower with a primer bulb. Um, now, as this was, was sitting for a while, it was probably out in the rain. Um, their gas tank is, is um, dry. So what we're gonna do is uh, take the carburetor off and take a look at it and clean it if necessary, rebuild if necessary. Um, so to do this, it's easier if you take this cover off and I need to get a Phillips for that. I didn't tighten these back up completely from when I put the pull cord on, but there we go. Set it aside. Now get the get the let's get the air filter off and take a look. Flathead screwdriver or uh, I don't know the can't remember the size of it, but. The air filter that wasn't here was dirty. This is a used one that was better, so we're gonna use put the used one in. I don't know if this one's. I mean, I have a new one if I need to put one in. Now we've got three bolts, I believe. They are the five sixteenths. I'm hurry. Take this off gently so you don't tear the gasket. There we go. Um, since this has a throttle cable, uh, you can take that off. Uh, if you need to adjust the throttle settings, you can unscrew this and move it around, but I'm leaving it where it is. So as we see here, it's pretty dirty in there. Let me get up some brushes and some cover cleaner. I've got some uh, these are like dollar store or 
or from Walmart, I can't remember. Just a brush, you can use an old toothbrush to get in here. Well, these work better because they've got this little tip. So just, br just brushing this off. Don't want any of this to get into the carburetor. Right, uh, so. This fuel line is hard, although it probably be sufficient now for, you know, I can always replace it later. I don't know if I have any in my stash. So let's go get myself a rag and spray this off. Got a rag. Let's start cleaning this off a little bit. You You should wear eye protection while doing this. I don't have it on right now, but this stuff spray, sprays back at you, it's gonna burn. So, okay, I got that, let's uh, take the carburetor off. <clears throat> Let me get my Three-eighths bolt. I need to get some uh, pliers. Normally, you would have to pinch off the line here because there would probably be gas in it. Um, there isn't, so I don't have to pinch off line. You would just put some sort of vice grip there, but this thing is, this uh, line is really hard. carburetor off. Ah. Jeez, there is gas in it. Oh, it's it's got water in it. It's bubbles in it. You know what they say with gas? Of course, it's for natural gas. No bubbles, no troubles. <laughs> so, let me uh, try to find something to plug that with. putting a screwdriver in there and then I'm going to put the hose clamp there and that that will pretty much hold it I got to clean this up Confirms that I will need to uh, take the gas tank off too, so I can 
clean that out. Okay. Z bend, Z bend to get it off. Well, this um, throttle, there we go, was frozen. So that wasn't good. Yeah, it's time for this uh, clean out. So I'm going to spray on the outside more. Actually, I need to get my... <sighs> Old cookie sheet. No one wants it, so it comes out here. This is a... Bruce Pender does this. Check out his channel. He's, oh, he's a retired guy up in Canada. Very... He's got a... Yeah, interesting sense of humor. Good guy. Lately he's been singing in his videos. Oops. Of course that was recorded by accident. It's kind of funny though. I sometimes get interrupted by people at my house here. Okay, carburetor's off. Let me uh, go get a half inch sack. And again, I love this. Uh, mechanic seat from Harbor Freight. This is, I used to do all this stuff kneeling down and it was just killing me. I'm not a young whippersnapper anymore. See, here. There we go. Oh. Yeah, there's water in there. The uh, bottom, the main jet, which is this bottom bolt, this way isn't isn't clogged. I need to check uh, this one. The top might be, but this is yeah. This has water in it. It's not good. So.
these aren't this hard to come off. So this has probably never been off though. There we go. Yeah. Ew. This one's got corrosion in it. It's got water in it. Take a look at what we got here. That's water and corrosion. I might be able to save this. These little, let me see here. These that little, those little um, sediment there. That's dried up ethanol. That's what happens with ethanol after it dries up. Ethanol is not good in a carbureted engine. Just, especially exposed to moisture because it attracts moisture. So I'll clean this out and I may need to rebuild the carburetor or may not. Um, so we'll see. Something else you need to clean off. This is the back of the air filter the box. Usually I'm just going to clean that off with a brush. Uh, I forgot to do that. Amazingly, this carburetor I don't think needs a rebuild, just needs a cleaning because you see how this is level like that? It's even, flat across, horizontal. Well, if it needed, needed to be a rebuild, the, the seat, which is rubber, would explode it and made it push push this up like that. When then it then it won't get any gas. So looks like uh, just need to clean this out. While I'm going to be cleaning out this carburetor, I'm going to take this uh, gas tank off to get all the water out. So uh, you don't need to be bored with the details to get the gas tank off. It's just uh, um, some screws up here, and then there's a uh, you take the um, and then there's a bolt on the bottom and it comes off. You saw you take it off in the last uh, last video when I take the, took the pull cord out to replace it. It's the same process. And here I am taking the, this bolt off at the bottom here. There is a spacer and don't lose that. Spacer. Here's the bolt. Here's the spacer. Got the gas tank off. Let's go wash this off. Here's the gas tank. I just uh, washed it out with some water. Um, gonna basically use a electric leaf blower to dry it off and leave it in the sun. If you're in, uh, you had, this is what was in it. This is about 40% water in there. There was a little bit more, but yeah. So. Okay, now I've got the gas tank drying off outside. In the sun, I'm gonna focus on the carburetor at the meantime. 
So to get the pin out, get, so get yourself some uh, pliers, needle nose pliers, and it just slides out. Put the pin down. Uh, I'm, and off comes the float and your needle attached. Inspect the needle for any damage. Uh, it looks okay to me. I just probably need to clean it, clean it off with some carb spray. But this is the inside of the carb. This isn't good. I think I can save it. I've got my carb rear cleaning kit. Consists of, uh, well, uh, I gotta go get the steel wool, but you know, Q tips, various size wires, and of course, brushes and stuff like that. So, you, I gotta clean this as best I can. The seat looks okay. The seat is in there. It's like a red color. I don't think I have to rebuild this one. Um, so I won't bore you with the details of cleaning this, but it's it, it may take a while. Okay, you want, what you want to do is you want to spray carburetor cleaner in all the little holes. For instance, in this one, you spray here, it'll come out uh, somewhere else. I don't remember where. But it comes out somewhere in the front. But you want to stick wires in these holes and clean them out the best you can. Here I got some steel wool. I'm gonna take this and kind of push it around with a screwdriver to kind of clean things up. It it forms it does better than um, than uh, the uh, brush. It conforms better to the uh, the shape. Get into all the nooks and crannies. Use a Q-tip if you can't eat. Yeah. So just don't use one that you previously used in your ear. Ha ha. And then don't use this one in your. Ear. <laughs> that would burn. Of course, I think you're. Probably smart enough not to do that. Okay. Okay. Now here's the, the float. Shake it around. I don't hear anything. So it's, it looks probably still good. Just give it a quick um, rinse with some carb spray. Take the needle, same thing. This doesn't have any corrosion on it, but just gonna clean it off. Uh, if your needle has a rubber gasket on the bottom of, on the tip, this one does not, don't do this. <laughs> You want to use very little of it, and because if you put it on, uh, hit the rubber gasket and the needle tip on some some needles, this will um, explode in size, and then you won't be able to. It won't run. So. So, judging by the fact that I've got a lot of debris in my pan here. I'm going to go clean it, off, uh, clean it off so I can use it to put parts. Otherwise, I'm just going to be getting parts dirty again. Okay, it's still rolling. So, cleaned off the, my tray. Now it's time to go clean off the rest of this carburetor. Just slightly again. And dropping everything today.
hot today. That lawnmower you hear in the background is one of my neighbor's uh, uh, landscaping crews. It's a Honda. It's what, uh, Okay, now that we're got the bottom bolt now to clean, uh, I've taken the gasket off of it. Sometimes it sticks to the bottom of the bowl, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, this is cleared this way, but it's not cleared at the top. So what you're gonna do is Get yourself a wire. This is like a wire from a twisty tie, and you're gonna stick it in the hole like this. And you'll be able to see it. If you look through it, you can be able to see it. It tells you it's clean. Now you need to spray it out again to get all the, uh, whatever the junk was. and spray into it here, and it should come out the sides. <sighs> so, this is clean now. <sighs> Time to, Reassembly. Where's the carb? Here's the carb. It's still not looking great, but I don't know if I can get it any better without without having a uh, ultra, ultrasonic cleaner. If you use steel wool, you need to spray off afterwards just because the steel wool will leave junk. It'll leave some wool behind. Hopefully this will be good enough. One thing I almost forgot, you gotta, you gotta uh, put a wire into these, I guess they're air, called air bleeds. And then spray them out as well. Okay, now it's time for reassembly. First thing you do is put the needle back on, like so. I like to hold it like this temporarily. And Put it back on like that. And you put the hinge pin back in. Great. This doesn't look good. Maybe I. Uh, 
maybe the uh, seat is messed up. So I'm going to continue to do it again. It wouldn't be surprised me if it is. This carpet, this was made in, I think, 97. Yeah, you see that? It's pushed up a little bit. It's supposed to be like that. That's enough to make it not run. So I'm gonna go get out my uh, rebuild kit to put a new seat in. Just a, it's just a seat. Okay, I have one seat left. Uh, I boarded these a couple years ago. Got 10. I think I have one that's in a carburetor somewhere. Anyway, these are cheap. This is the most. Uh, this and the bowl gasket are probably the most often things that are going to get go bad, uh, get a bit damaged. So, in order to get the old one out, typically you use a um, drywall screw. I'm going to see something here. Yeah, take a drywall screw. You stick it in the hole here twist it and then pull this destroys the gasket but you don't care because you're just going to replace it and out it comes now here's, here you want to spray into here You want to make sure all remnants of that gasket is gone. <laughs> yeah, it is. No. To put the new one on, let me go get, uh, you can do this with a paper clip just to get it aligned in there. And you get the new gasket out of the Okay, let me go get my, uh... okay, put the new one on, you can do this with a paper clip or whatever, but this um, seat has two sides, there's a groove side and a non-groove side. The, not, the groove side goes down into the carburetor in here, facing this way. So I, this is a mini pick, you can use a paper clip or a very small screwdriver, precision screwdriver to do this. You do this. And then you just kind of yeah, set it in there like that. Then come by with a Allen wrench, Allen wrench, or um, you can use a, 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 a screw that's a like a machine screw or something. And you just want to push this down into the into the carburetor. Try to be even to get it down evenly. And there we go. Now I'm going to put this, uh, reassemble the carburetor again. Put the hinge pin in. Hinge pin's in. See the difference? It's level now. That's how you can tell if you need to rebuild the carburetor where the seat goes bad. It probably just blew up because I got um, uh, I got some carburetor cleaner on it and it ex expanded. But you know, I and I luckily I had a part on hand, so. This should uh, this should work now. So I'm gonna put the bowl back on. This the other gasket for the bowl gasket's already there. It didn't peel off. It's still good. And going to.
stick the, the, wash, the bowl washer and the bowl nut back on. half inch or 13 millimeter might do it. Actually on the, oh, that wasn't good, it didn't thread. Actually on the Chinese copies of these, the bottom uh, bolt is, is actually 13 millimeter, it's not half inch. I have one on uh, those Chinese ones, haven't used it yet. I've had it for a couple years. I haven't had a need for it, but it's for a, it's for the auto chip kind of style. This is a primer style. You don't want to gr go grill on this, but yeah. And also you probably want to spray in here. And there we go. Time to put this back on. So the, um, this is the governor or throttle goes in like this and this kind of hangs there until you uh, put your the bolts back in here's my bolts now see if I can get which one these are three A's. Yeah. Oh. And one thing I make sure is this O-ring stays here. Sometimes they come off, sometimes they're missing. I had a uh, one that I got got where that O-ring was missing. Because of that, it didn't run. Right. It didn't. It wouldn't run. Is it? I always want to make sure these gas tanks got this thing and it's still there if it's equipped with one because that ensures that uh, it's vented otherwise you you'll you can it, it won't vent and you'll it'll run for about three or four minutes and then it will stop because of fuel starvation
Okay, now put this this is the first one you want to put on. Trick is you gotta get this on the other side of the gas tank. And let's put on the, uh, finish putting on the gas tank. Okay, now we gotta put the the carpet, the uh, airbox back on. Where did I put it? <sighs> so, first thing, because it's got a throttle on it, first thing you wanna do is stick it in the throttle hole like that. Uh, put the air filter back on, our air filter box back on. Let's stick some gas in it, see if it leaks, and then see if it runs. Hey, little tubes. Um, I put some gas in it, and it started leaking out a little bit here. Um, it, that happens sometimes after you disassembled it. So what I did is I just did that, and that kind of settles the, fl the float where it should be. Um, I forgot to put the plug out, but okay, whatever. So let's go see if this starts. I'm going to uh, go outside. Okay, we're gonna see if this this runs. This is real time. I haven't tried to pit, run this at all.
well, well. What do we got here? A running snapper. Um, reason why it didn't start, it started and died right away, is the throttle was turned down the whole way. So I, uh, I used the throttle cable to uh, raise it up so it run. I do have some concerns about that um, when it was leaking, but it hasn't, it, it hasn't leaked anymore since I, uh, looks like I got the float finally settled up. What I'm doing here to raise the idle when it's on slow, which it should, it should run, but it is, I'm going to see here, this spring here pulls on the governor here. So I'm going to pull this because when you activate the throttle, it pushes, it pulls this out. Well, this spring gets, uh, over time gets worn out. So what you can do is take a pair of pliers, bend it out a little bit and let's see how, let's see how that is. So that's how you play around with it. Okay, I got it still low idle. What I did, my pliers, I bent this that way to slow it down. To speed it up, you pull it this way. The, the throttle, you pull it back, and you're pulling this out. You work faster. Paint job's coming, coming along okay. I just got this side. Got a little at the front here. And this is where most of the problem was. Uh, here, I'm um, just painting it over. I've uh, put a wire wheel on a drill and just, you know, rough it up to get rid of some of the loose paint and rust. And um, this is going to be called covered up anyway. So here's the paint that you use. Uh, yeah, it matches pretty good. You get this at Walmart. Well, I've run this a little bit and heated warm up the oil. Now I'm, I've changed the, I've uh, emptied the oil out because the where the, the belt is on is on this. Uh, you can't get to the um, drain plug without removing a bunch of stuff. So the other way to take empty your oil is the same place you put it in. So I already emptied it out into a uh, this old cool whip container, which I'll then empty into my oil uh, uh, to, to take it my oil disposal bucket or bin or whatever you want to call it now the oil of the day is what I pretty much always use is super tech SAE 30 uh, the cheapest you can get and uh, not bad uh, Amazon basics is actually pretty similar if not big uh, so but you have to order from Amazon so it's yeah one uh, most lawnmowers take 20 ounces of oil, which is approximately half quart.